beta-lactamase inhibitors are actually not antibiotics. They resemble beta-lactam molecules, i.e. penicillins and cephalosporins, but they have a very weak antibacterial action. The drugs in this class include clavulonic acid, sulbactam, and tazobactam. Beta-lactamase inhibitors, like the name implies, inhibit beta-lactamase. This is an important mechanism because beta-lactam antibiotics, like the penicillins and cephalosporins, can be hydrolyzed and rendered inactive by beta-lactamases. Beta-lactamases break the beta-lactam ring, and without this ring, penicillins and cephalosporins are unable to bind to transpeptidase, and therefore these drugs are unable to inhibit cell wall synthesis. The resistance to beta-lactamase inhibitors is fairly simple and straightforward. Not all beta-lactamases are inhibited by beta-lactamase inhibitors. This is due to differing binding affinities of the different beta-lactamase inhibitors for the different beta-lactamases. The spectrum of coverage of a beta-lactamase inhibitor is mainly dependent on the paired antibiotic. Beta-lactamase inhibitors are typically co-formulated with the beta-lactam antibiotic in an effort to extend the spectrum of the beta-lactam antibiotic into the beta-lactamase producing bacterial species. An example of this is that beta-lactamase inhibitors extend the spectrum of amino penicillins to include H. influenzae, E. coli, Klebsiella species, Proteus species, and B. fragilis. A final example is piperacillin, as it is always co-formulated with the beta-lactamase inhibitor tazobactam to give piperacillin the best possible gram-negative coverage. Beta-lactamase inhibitors are well tolerated. There is concern with using beta-lactamase inhibitors in a patient that has a history of hypersensitivity to multiple beta-lactams. The adverse effects of a beta-lactamase inhibitor are usually minimal when compared to its co-formulated active antibiotic partner. This concludes the video. Thanks for watching. Please direct any questions to me on Twitter at Sheehy underscore Ryan. I've also included my sources here. Thanks again.